these two elements because personally I'm very much attracted by the look of the sedan. I like that classic format of, of that uh, type of car. But I really, really enjoy the advantages of the big um, opening. So therefore, you know, not being trapped with the great looks of the sedan and then having this quite tiny opening, but opening, bringing the big feet and the big advantage of the hatchback to the sedan world, I think that's a, um, a cool trick to make this product really attractive. So if you're not going to call it a hatchback, but it's a sedan with a lift gate, what are you going to call it? Oh, I'm still very open to a suggestion <laughs> yeah. for that, that <laughs> one. Um, we haven't solved, and thank God I don't have to solve that one. <laughs> That's not my business. <laughs> Do you think that might be a trend in the industry? That, that, that because the, the the look of a, uh, mm -hmm. a sedan is a bit more businesslike somehow. Yeah. That, that people are showing they want the practicality. Well, I mean that question is very tricky one because indeed the markets taste-wise, funnily enough, when it comes to design taste. The world is not that much apart anymore. When I go to China, when I go to America, it's not like, you know, in the old days you would say, yeah, they like all this big chrome there and here. And it's not that much. I mean, the internet brought the world very close together. Funnily enough, the big question about sedan or hatch in the C segment is still something that makes the world really uh, split into. And there, it would be very different from where they go. In, for Europe, I would say, mm, we had such a dominance of the hatchback over the last 20 years. I think it's a bit time, you know, introduce something new. So there I feel like um, it's a bit more of a renaissance of the sedan within uh, our market here in Europe. If I look into um, America especially, well, I think us doing this bolder look, a little bit more edgy, a bit more, you know, the the free box of a sedan is certainly something that attracts the American customer. Mm -hmm. Having said that, us as a company always had the great functionality with the cars, us offering a little bit more of a access to, you know, a, a usability. It's a product attribute which I think will really be a good one to have um, in the American market. So, I don't think that you would be too, you know, that conservative that you would say, oh, as soon as it has a big opening, it's, it's not my toy anymore. Is it designed as an electric car or also petrol and diesel? Mm. Well, it is designed as an electric car because okay. if you put the question to Volvo design, which then at the end will always end up on my desk, how, how will electrification, how, how will it be treated? Will there be the electric cars and you know the rest of the world? I really think that that is a almost naive thinking that we would split up the automotive design world into oh yeah there's a electric aesthetics and then there is the, the ordinary aesthetics. The electric aesthetics will move car design, they will influence car design, but they will not stay electric aesthetics. I mean of course the rest of it will go along into that modern direction. Aerodynamic design features, which of course are a big thing in this, in this era. Um, a certain sleek look where you do not show, you know, a, a big combustion engine needing lots of air, you have big, big wide openings. Of course, this is something that will, throughout the automotive design values, will change. I mean, look at how these became much more body color um, heavy elements. The air intakes are much more um, reduced. We use the face of the car much more, um, you know, as a, as a structural part than just a functional uh, air opening. So all these things definitely here are designed for the electrification. If we then have a hybrid drivetrain, a full battery car, or maybe still a combustion engine in there, at the end of the day, it does not change the aesthetics of the new 40. Can I ask about the windows? Why did you decide 